guys welcome back to our youtube channel hope you're all doing well on this gloomy rainy miserable day but it is feeling more like autumn winter so that makes me very happy in today's video we thought we would do another daily vlog because we really really enjoy filming these and hopefully you guys enjoy watching them too if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you are new to the channel then don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos and if you are excited for this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up i can't actually tell you how good it feels to be just out <laughs> as you all know we're in quarantine for 14 days so the feeling of just going out is just so good <laughs> not to be stuck in a house also please ignore the way i look today my hair is literally just such a mess but you know when you have those days where you just cannot be bothered to be fair that is most days um but yeah i'm just rolling with it today do you know what i mean so i've decided to have a little drive through to wilkinson's because i heard on the grapevine that they have the you know the lenore crease releaser that i showed you all in a few vlogs back i think um I got it from B&M last time but I literally can't find it anywhere. I looked on Wilco's online and they had them in stock so I'm literally praying that they have some because I really need some. So I've just pulled up. I have managed to get the in the pack, car park closest to Wilkinson's, the Wilkinson car park. Um, but the this car park is so narrow, like the gaps are so tiny. But if you go to the top of like the, the final floor, there are a lot bigger gaps and I've managed to bag myself a space in that floor. So I'm really happy with that. So now I'm gonna go into Wilkinson's and see if they have that crease release it. I'm literally praying they do. Um and then also, while I'm on my mission today, I want to look for that, um, you know, that new Mrs. Hinch washing stuff. It's like Rose Winter Wonderland or something. I don't know if you've heard of it, but I really want to get my hands on some of that. So if they don't have it in Wilkinson's, I might go check Tesco's or somewhere just to see if they have it. So I really want to try it and get in that like cozy winter autumn feel. Um, so hopefully we can find that on our travels as well today. So guys, I've just got home. Oh God, it's absolutely awful out there. Bad news, they had inner crease releaser, which I was really, really sad about. And then I went to Morrison's and Tesco's and obviously Wilkinson's for the Mrs. Hinch stuff. And I couldn't find that either. So all in all, a little bit of a fail. However, I did buy a few bits. Um, I'll show you what I got from Wilkinson's anyway. There's nothing, to be honest, nothing really worth showing you but I saw these it's like well it's not terrible chocolate orange but it's orange giant buttons I thought they would be quite nice to try out wow look at my hair it's horrendous I got a new one of these some toilet roll some bin bags I got two of these nice little bath bombs. They sent coconut and vanilla and they're only a pound each, which I thought was quite good. Got some shower gel. And then the last things I bought is I just bought a new one of these. It's just a face wash that I use and that I'd run out of. It's really good. So I bought another one of those. And then just the cleanser and the toner to match, which I needed some more of. And that's pretty much all I've got. It was a load of rubbish, to be honest. Tommy asked me to bring bring him a treat back. So Just, don't uh, to show you what I've present. got. Yeah. What have you bought? Me? It's nothing big, you know. It's tiny. I'll sit in the hot seat, wait. Are you shutting your eyes? Oh, he's proper. It's nothing big, but you want me to shut my eyes? Oh, it's tiny, but. <laughs> I want you to close your eyes. Hang on, I'm just trying to find it. It's that small, we can't find it in that yeah. tiny bag. Yeah, it, oh, wow. it doesn't have to be big, else. I mean, it's probably like 70 pence. 70 pence. Don't close your eyes. Right, here's number one. Thanks. <laughs> no, it is. that ain't the present you bought. Alright, the one that you bought. You buy yourself bath bombs and cream. I bought him a chocolate orange twirl. I thought that would be good to try. You, you buy loads of stuff. I just asked Loads of stuff, right? Presents. Hang on, hang on. Shower gels for us both. Mr. Pine for us both. Bin bags for us both. Well, did you want some bloody cleanser? There you go then, hun. I got one for you, one for me. Bath bomb. Thanks for my twirl. Thanks for my monster. 
<laughs> but I'm off. Um, yeah, so there literally was nothing to be fair. Like, I was really, really, well, not disappointed because I didn't really go for much, but I was really sad that I didn't have the Mrs. Hinch stuff. And I was also really sad that I couldn't find the crease release, but it is what it is. By the way, I'm getting my roots, I'm getting my roots done next Saturday. Well done. Can't wait for that. Look at them. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I... Hashtag needs their roots to it. What? Hashtag needs their roots to it. Ah, yeah. Um, and then the only other stuff that I bought, like I said, I went to Morrison's. Tom! When I went out, I said to Tommy, can you be on wash load today? I've put a wash in, can you go put it in the tumble dryer? Then when this one finishes, can you swap them? And I've just got back and the washing machine's open. I went out about three hours ago. And he's obviously forgotten. He just ran out now to quickly go and get the tumble dryer stuff because he's clearly forgotten. So let's wait and see what he says when he comes back in. Um, let me just stand you a bit taller. Um, what was I going to say? So yeah, so the only other thing I bought was some cake stuff because I'm going to make, it's my one of my best friend's birthdays tomorrow so I'm going to make her a birthday cake because she's coming around tonight. So you all know me by now, I'm not a very good baker so I just bought this. This never ever ever fails me, it is delicious. It's the Betty Crocker Tempting Chocolate Cake Mix. So I've got one of those. I got the tempting chocolate fudge icing to obviously go with it and then I got chocolate fingers because I thought I'd put them around like the edge of the cake and then I got milky buttons to put on the top of the cake so I'm going to make that I'm going to start to make that now actually um, and yeah that's pretty much everything I bought so yeah I've, um, this is how lazy I am. I can't be able to go upstairs to get the tripod. So I've got my tea, coffee and sugar thing and then you're balanced on top of that. <laughs> so hopefully you can see me. Oh, another thing that I got was a new minky cloth because I lost this one that I had and this is the best cloth I have ever used for glass on windows. Like, honestly, it gets your glass clean like that. It's so good. And I couldn't find my other one so I bought another one of those too. And then the only other stuff I bought which was like nibbles tonight because we've got my, like I said, one of my best friends, my auntie and my mum coming round. Um, we're going to have like a little girly night, so yeah, I just bought some nibbly bits too. Tommy? Buzzy. What happened to your washing man today? Yeah, I am. So why is that, why is that washing? Nibbly? Where do you want it to go? Is the tumbles dry? Is it yeah, it's on its second run through. Tom, where were they? In a box in the garage. Well, you don't like them, do you? Yeah. Why said you didn't like him? Tommy's found some shoes that he'd lost, so he's buzzing. Right. Oh, also, look at this candle that I got from B&M the other day. Love it's it. Gingerbread. Oh, anyone else love the scent of gingerbread? Outfit. Like Tommy, you're not going out for another two hours. What is the point? Why are you like getting the pudding out? No, I wanted to buy these shoes. Oh. And now I'm going to put these shoes on. Cool. Right. Let's get the oven on. Probably about spiders. 25 uh, spiders in them. Is it actually? Probably. Right, so it says on here mix the <laughs> eggs. It's filthy. Yeah, but well, that's weird. I thought you'd never really worn them. Where the hell are we going to that? I one? told you, I used to wear these all the time. For what? Just for day to day life. Oh. Um, mix the eggs, oil, water, and cake mix gently together and whisk by hand or electric for two to three minutes until cream and smooth. So, get this out. Why is the other bowl like this? Oh, know. it's down there. Um, Okay. Uh, that. Okay, then. Oh, buzzing with that. Do you want to come and help me bit? I'm buzzing that too, you know. Mm. That just fits this outfit together nicely. So you're not going to help me then, no? No. Why? I've got stuff to do. What are you going to, what are you got to do? You put it off and sort out and be done. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, so. I put that in and I need to mix it with eggs, oil, water, so. 
I need three medium eggs. And the quack. God, you French. <laughs> Um, put the oven to 180, I've already done that. Three eggs. 230ml of water. Here we go. And then last but not least, we need eight tablespoons of vegetable oil. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? Eight tablespoons of vegetable oil. I don't know if I've got eight in here. Seven. Eight. Okay, so I've done all of that. This isn't a come bake me or anything like that because you can all go buy this box from Morrison's and do it. But this is what it looks like so far, just for those of you that have never tried this before. Honestly, Tommy, this cake looks really nice. Beautiful. It's honestly so good. Um, and you literally just buy the cake mix, like I say, so you buy that and then you buy the icing. They were two pound each. And then you literally add oil, eggs, and water to the cake mix and then it's done. So what I'm doing now is I'm just mixing it all together. I've not got an electric hand mixer, which I could really do with one to be fair, but I've not got one, so. It is what it is. And then put it in the oven for, it says 23 to 28 minutes. And then when it comes out, because I pour it into two. So you know like it's a two tier cake. I'll show you anyway when I've done it. Tommy, do you want to come and mix it? You're really good at mixing. No. Yeah, you are. Oh, I make. Oh, I've got chocolate all over my sleeve. Hello? Okay, so I've done the cake mixture. That's what it's looking like. I've just greased these two trays. I'm just going to pour it in evenly. And then it goes in the oven for like a say. 20, 23 to 28 minutes. Um. The oven's just beeped, so that's good. That means the oven's ready. And then, yeah, that's obviously going to give me two tears, and then when it comes out, we can ice it and decorate it. The person I'm making this cake for as well is an absolute chocoholic, so she will absolutely love this. Um, okay, so, like I said, they're both ready to literally just put in the oven. I'm going to pop them in. I'm going to set a timer on my phone for... I'll do 23, and then we can always check on it. 23 minutes, so it is now just a waiting game. So today, my I've been at work all morning, um, and basically today, I have to sort out this, my dad's 60th birthday is coming up, and I have to sort out, I, I say I have to, that sounds awful. Basically, my mum has asked me if I will help her do this timeline of my dad's life through photos, and she's basically going to put them on uh, the computer and then she's going to make, I don't know what really, like a poster, canvas, something like that. Um, so I've got a couple of days, but I've left it a couple of days, so I've now got today to do, um, to, to basically make my dad a timeline of his life through all of these photo albums. Now, I have started and I have like kind of half marked out some pictures but then i need to take them out and obviously take a picture and try my best to take a picture of a picture with my camera if, if we're if we're getting that um so that's what i'm going to do right now i have some i have some unbelievable photos of my dad he turned 60 so obviously he was uh obviously he was born 60 years ago but yeah he's 60 so he's got a lot of photos a lot of photo albums to go through um and yeah i've kind of just got to make up a timeline so let's let's begin right i've kind of pre-made i had a quick little look of the photo albums i've pre-made them into kind of a bit of a timeline in photo albums bear with she's 35 photos um so oh, really? yeah only 35 which with all this is quite a lot it's almost like one from each album she's doing that one and then she's also going to do in one called disney through the years because my my family's very disney orientated and they love disney world florida my dad's been going since he was a kid he's took all my family every one of our family's been back since so we go quite often so that's why we're doing the two 
on the top just to try and make the top look nice I guess. Got some white chocolate ones and then I've just got some normal ones as well. I don't know whether to just go white chocolate though to be fair. I think I will because the rest of it's normal chocolate isn't it so this might just have like a different flavour. final cake. I know it doesn't look amazing but do you know what? It's the thought that counts isn't it? And I'm no baker. So I'm going to give her that tonight. Hopefully she will like it. But I think we look quite good with your box cake Tom, do you? I think it looks fantastic. <laughs> Honestly that looks unreal. <laughs> but anyways guys, so Tommy is just about to go to the cinema with his friend. You smell nice. Um, and like I say, my friend's coming over with my mum and my auntie, so we're just gonna have like a girls' night in, loads of nibbles and wine. So I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Yeah. Yeah? Thank you so much for watching, we really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And we shall see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.